Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVEX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VEX Robotics. Hello, and welcome to tutorial 11. All right, so this is what we did, the example I showed you. Uh, where I created a variable and then I made the robot go 200 mils, which is one square and then come back goes two square Come back and go three square come back. So this was the example and I gave you a challenge challenge was to collect all three discs starting from the closest one Then the next one and the furthest one. Okay, so, and, and then you get each one bring it back get the next one bring it back get the furthest one bring it back. How do I then change this code to get to make sure that I get all the three discs so that was your challenge, okay? So this is how you do it, right? It's, it's really easy, and I said, I'm gonna give you an easy one because you just started to learn how to use variables. So let's just see how to do it. Now, first thing, from here to here, what's the distance? One, two, three, four, so that's 800, okay? So I've gotta start by setting distance to 800. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna set my velocity to 100%. Remember, I always talk about setting your velocity to 100 so that it gets things done as fast as possible, okay? Okay, another reason for having a high velocity, when you get these dis disks and then you, you somehow bump into the disk, if you've got a slow speed, that might actually knock you off the path a little bit, okay? So if you get that to 100, that sort of reduces the effect of, of, of getting you knocked out of the path, all right? So the next thing, so 800 gets you here, that's your starting point, and then Velocity is 100%. Then you drive forward to distance, so 800. When you drive here, you got to activate your magnet. Remember we talked about in, in tutorial 7, was it? That you need to activate your magnet. If not, you're not going to pick anything up. So activate your magnet to boost. Then you pick this up. You drive backward. And then you activate your magnet to, or you deactivate your magnet, rather, which is called activate magnet to drop somehow. That's how they call it. All right, so that's what you do. Pick it up, boost, drop it once you're down here. All right, and then you change the distance by 400 because that's the difference from one disk to another. All right. And that should do the trick. Let's see how this works out. There you go. First one, pick up, drop. Second one, pick up, drop. Third one, pick up. See, you get deviated a bit because of the effect of when you bump into one of the discs, you get deviated a bit. And if you didn't have that 100%, you might actually get knocked off quite a fair bit. Okay, so we managed to do that task just by changing a couple of numbers and get, getting the magnet to, to be energized and de-energized. The next task, this is your next next task, and I'm giving you some clues. All right, because it's not going to be that easy. So what you need to do here is you need to pick up these three discs. Again, in the same order, so this one first, this one second, this one third, bring them back, okay? And then you do the same for the next. So you go here, again, same order, bring them back, go here, same order, bring them back, and your robot should end up here at the end. Now, again, I'm, give, I'm giving you two clues here, all right? Can I create these two functions? The functions that, that mean basically these things. One of them, get, these three disks and return. Am I doing the same thing down here? Okay, simple question, simple answer. Think about it. Just what I did down here. I'm oh, sorry, down here. I picked it up, right? I picked up these three disks. And this, I'm, I'm doing the same thing down here, literally. I'm going to do the same thing. So, can I have a function for this? Okay, that, that actually defines this action. And that's what I did early on. Okay, now, and that can be repeated. The next thing. You're moving from one block to another. Are they exactly the same distance? Is the same action repeatable? Moving from here to here, picking up, and then when you move from here to here, can I call on the same function? So turn, drive, and turn, can I use that more than once? If yes, yes, you can make a function. So I've given you two clues, two possible functions you can create, and then call them in, all right? The rest is up to you. It shouldn't be that difficult, remember? And your, these functions that you create should have the variables created in them, all right? And then you, how much you need to change your variable by, you should be defining all of them here. Now, again, the previous example already gave you a solution as to how to pick up these three uh, disks. It should not be that difficult, okay? It's a bit of a stress. 
it's a bit of a stress, but you can get it done. Not too difficult. All the best. Thank you very much for listening. I shall see you in tutorial 12.